So today I thought I would try a dye with me. Um, I'm going to dye a piece, like custom piece for Lara. Uh, for the Maxing Gads. Well, I don't know if this will be for her Maxing Gads challenge, but there's going to be a challenge in May. If anyone's interested, I'll link the details down below. But we are going to dye a Mardi Gras Fleur de Lis wallpapery type fabric with the purples and the greens and the gold instead of her stitching all of this uh, background. And I am going to attempt to film this. So. 28 count linen the size is 28 inches by 36 and let's see how this goes okay so let's surge the edges sorry if this is really loud So these are the colors I'm going to mix together to get the background color. Um, I know like when you look up Mardi Gras colors, it's a pretty bright green. But I just don't, I think I might go a little bit colder, more blues. Because I just don't think this lends itself to a really bright, bright green. So we're going to mix and experiment and see what we come up with. Okay, so this is what we've come up with. Hot water, those four colors mixed together. When I'm dyeing, I like to always have paintbrushes. Crazy. And um, like scrap fabric. And then you dip. You can see. You see, like, I just thought that was going to be too light. I think this is going to look look better. It's a bit more blue, but with the purple, I think it's going to look. I think it's going to look good. So that's what we're going with. Time to dunk the fabric. Okay, so this is the fleur de lis that I am going to attempt to carve into this potato, half a potato, to then use a stamp. Oh, I'm not sure, but let's try. I don't even know if this is the right size, like a good shape. So I guess we'll start, start with the middle. I don't know if it's gonna be, might need a fatter potato. Oh, it might actually. This might take a few attempts, but basically the next step is to carefully carve all this flesh away. 
and be left with a stamp while my fabric is soaking and drying. Oh yeah. Well, I won't bore everyone with all of this, so I'll just speed ahead. I'll probably have to try this a couple times as well. Okay, so here is the potato fleur-de-lis. I have a pretty concentrated mixture of eggplant in here. I have my test piece here because I'm not sure if I want to dip and die straight away or like dip, dab, and die. Oh, here's the the green. I'm happy with this color. It's kind of sunny today, so of course it's that. Yeah, that's okay. <clears throat> so a little bit of experiment time. So dab. Okay, so I'm going to do it directly on. So next, I need to sort of figure out a grid on here. Um, yes, thinking out loud. I need to get that uh, picture again to figure out spacing and whatnot and I will put pins to grid because I don't want to work with anything else okay okay I'm not quite sure why the recording didn't record I obviously didn't press something so I've started I have a couple drips I will be putting some gold Alara I'm sorry I don't think it's gonna look too bad though I think it's gonna look it's a bit grungy the mask I think it's gonna all work work out okay but here's where we are right now I got a lot more to go so I'm gonna keep at it and I'll show you what it looks like when it's all stamped here is where we are at I cut away all the extra potato like the circle part because that's what I found was giving me issue and now we are ready to add some gold so nice new paintbrush this is the metallic fabric paint that I use it came in a uh, pack with a silver as well and it washes no problem all right, let's try these dots. Okay, so I think we're gonna aim for four. I don't know why I like even numbers better, but I think one, two, three, four. What four is gonna look? It's gonna look the best. So starting with the middle one. So okay. I'm going to put it on pretty dry because uh, I don't want the holes too clogged up. It's not going to be too hard to sew, but sew through, but we'll see. If I have to add more, I can add more, but it's harder to take, take away than to add. Oh, look at that. Do you see that? I think you can. One, two, three, four. Okay. Three. Of course, today is the sunny day. One, two, three, four. 
Um, I'm not complaining. It's like 24 degrees today. I don't know what that is. It's Celsius 70 or something like that. But on Monday, it's going to snow because Canada and spring are ridiculous. Uh, I actually have windows open, let fresh air in finally. Oh, it's lovely. Three, four. Okay, I think you get the idea. We get all this finished and show you what it looks like when it's finished. Okay, so now here are with all the gold dots. I'm just gonna wait for everything to dry. Plug it in the wash, iron, and then we'll see what it looks like. All right, so here it is out of the wash. I'm gonna give it a good press. This will take a while. <laughs> and I'll take a picture of it with the pattern that's gonna go on it right at the end. Okay, look how cool this looks. Alara, I hope. You like it? I think this is going to look pretty, pretty cool. Oh, do I need to get a Maxi and Gad mask? Oh dear. I don't know. This was a lot of fun. I'm not, I hope you guys enjoyed, because I might, uh, I might do a few more of the commissions I have this way. Um, so thanks so much for watching. Have a great day. Bye.